Good afternoon and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's car of choice is a Ford Focus. It's a 2009 uh, diesel TDCI and the customer complaint is uh, battery goes dead every couple of days. He said he's put a new battery on it and a new alternator on it and if you leave it for two days or more when you come to start it the battery's totally dead. So let's go ahead and see what we got. Right, so we've just brought it in. Um, engine's still running at the moment. Looking around, we've got no obvious, no obvious lights on. Um, I've just checked the uh, glove compartment light. That goes off when you shut the glove box, so the glove box is okay. Um, this display stays on. Interior lights on. But what we do is we get out, we lock all the doors, and then we'll. Uh, take some readings from the battery and uh, see where we go from there right so I've just turned the car around okay right so I've just turned the car around to give me a bit more access to the fuse box which is down under there under the footwell um, the keys out I've latched the door so the door thinks it's shut coming around to the front I've latched the bonnet so the bonnet thinks it's shut I've disconnected the the positive cable on the battery and I put this big jumper cable like a half a half a jump lead in between so I could stick my amp clamp on there from the Pico because there's not enough room to get it onto the terminal itself and it's a bit unreliable I find putting it on the earth wires because you've got two earth wires, you've got a, an engine earth and a body earth. So I've taken the positive off, put this on there. I've got channel one on the Pico doing a voltage reading on the battery and channel B is on the amp clamp. This is a 60 amp 20 on the 25 amp setting. And at the moment, as you can see, oh and I charged the battery up last night as well because the battery was a bit low. At the moment we've got about 12 point, uh, well we, we had 12.68 volts to start with, it's down to 12.53 and at the moment we've got a amp draw of about <coughs> 732 milliamps. So what I'm going to do if I can find the key, where's the key? I'm going to lock the car and then I'm going to wait for that to go to sleep and then we'll come back right after long last about must be about 20-25 uh, minutes the dash has gone to sleep you can see that in there the dash has gone to sleep and the amp draw now has come down to about 411 milliamps so going to the front, oh, I just want to say at this point, I'm sorry about the sniffing. Um, it's absolutely freezing cold in this garage today. Uh, I don't know what the temperature is, but it is absolutely bitter. So, sorry for that. I wanted to first of all determine whether the current was going towards the alternator and the starter um via one main cable or going to the fuse box bcm type area on another cable so using my separate amp clamp that out. on this cable we have got um, that amp clamp says 260 milliamps if I put it around the cable that goes to the BCM or the fuse box, we get about the same reading, slightly higher, so 29 now. So all the current draw is not going to the start on the alternator, it's going through the fuse box. Now I've checked the obvious things like the boot light and the glove box light, things like that, they're all okay. So if we just turn that off there. So what I'm going to do now is use my multimeter on millivolts and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through all these fuses if 
I could do this one handed. See, and when you get a good connection on the fuse, when I can get a good connection on the fuse, hold on, folks. When you get a good connection on the fuse, you get a nice steady zero millivolt reading, which indicates there's no current flow through that fuse. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through all these fuses and see if I've got any current draw through here. And if we've got nothing here, then we'll go to the fuse box inside. Right, so I'm back a few minutes later. I've been through all these fuses. There's no current draw in any of those. The only one that we've got a little bit of draw on is this main 60 amp fuse up here. And if I put my test leads on there, you can see that we've got a 0.1 millivolt drop. So I would imagine that, that goes to the fuse box inside, but we'll look up on some data and we'll try and find where that goes. Right, so I've looked up all the on auto data and according to the relay um, or the fuse box layout that fuse box uh, fuse number three 60 amp is for the fascia fuse box relay plates for fuses F102, F103, 107, F11, F13, F9119, F126, 129, 133 to 135 and headlamps so we we'll go inside and we'll do the same checks there Right, so here we are under the dash, and we've got our trusty light, our trusty voltmeter, and there's the fuse box up under the dash. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go through again and test all these with my probes, and I'll let you know which fuse I find has any significant current draw. Alright, be back shortly guys. Right, so back to the fuse box, I went through the whole lot of fuses. Couldn't find anything really conclusive, couldn't really find any current draw. Um, but then, after a little while, when I went back to the Pico scope, it had gone down to about 49, 49 milliamps. So, going to the front again, again, we can see on that lead, I don't know if you can see that there, it's hovering around 50, 60 milliamps. On the earth lead it's showing about the same so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take all this off box it all back together start it and run it and then shut it all off again let it settle and if it goes down again the same um, I think the next step will be to test the battery because um, although they say it's got a new battery in it uh, no guarantee of uh, quality right Right, so we'll be back in a second. Right, so we've started it and stopped it after running it for a while. Um, and you can see when I turned it off, the amplitude has gone down to a current reading of 566 milliamps. So we'll let that go back to sleep again. Right, current draw is currently hovering around 30 to 50 milliamps, which isn't too bad, I suppose. But we're going to do a battery test just to confirm the battery is okay. With the top Don Arty battery 201. Can you see that in there? Let's turn the flash off. Let's get rid of some of that glare. So I'm going to select OK. Factory test. Regular flooded. Cold cranking amps. We we'll use that. 620. Testing the battery. 
good battery 630 cold cranking amps 12.5 volts internal resistance of 4.74 milli ohms good battery okay right right okay guys for one final time I've run the car I've locked it and I put the Pico on a long time base for an hour and 23 minutes per screen that's 500 seconds um, vision 5,000 seconds of screen so at the moment it's um, it's about 500 milliamps and the voltage is 12.53 just turn the flash off. So what we're going to do, we're going to let that run for an hour and hour and twenty minutes, um, and then see where we are from there. Well, what can I say? It's about four hours later, uh, later in the afternoon. Um, I'm still monitoring the amp draw on this focus, uh, and at the moment it's settled around thirty milliamps, um, as you can see by the red line down there. Battery voltage is holding about 12.5, 12.6. Uh, so at the moment, uh, it's all good. So I'm going to keep monitoring it for the rest of the day and probably a bit of tomorrow as well. And uh, see what happens. Um, I was looking forward to finding a fault, but at the moment, it's all behaving itself. So keep tuned. Catch you later. Well guys and girls, bit of a disappointing end to that one really, uh, as you can see the car's gone, quick spin round, um, <clears throat> I monitored it for about 6 hours uh, during the day, uh, locking it, unlocking it, um, letting it sit, starting it, stopping it, and uh, it seemed to go through its own little routine. Um, you'd have current draw for 10 minutes before the dash goes out and it goes to sleep. Um, and then it sort of wakes up for a couple of minutes then goes back off again and then it settles down to about 30 milliamps so I couldn't really find anything else wrong with it now so um, I'll give it back to the customer to use and to monitor and if he has any more problems he bring it back so thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next one thank you bye bye